Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. Angelica Molinos, reporting for KGFW. Here we're interviewing. I am Princess K of the Milky Way, Tina Rutman. What are the things you got to do tonight? Well, I get to be announced when we go out on the field, and I'm handing out ice cream sandwiches to everyone who comes to the game, and also just meeting all the great fans out here and having a wonderful time. Well, thanks very much for the interview. We'll talk to you later. Well, thank you for having me on. Now we're interviewing... Becky Bussey. What are you going to be doing tonight? I get the privilege to sing the national anthem before the game starts. It's an important part of the game. It's a very important part of the game. It's the very first thing, and if I mess up the words, we're going to be in trouble. Do you like to sing it? I do. I did have one time when I sang for a high school game that I forgot the words, but the fans were very supportive and sang along with me. We also appreciate you. Thank you. This is Angelica Munoz reporting for KGFW and this is... Sergeant First Class Dan Meyer. Where did you just come back from? I just came back from Kandahar, Afghanistan. Is it great to be home? Yes, it's great to be home. I saw you through the first pitch. How was that? It was a great honor to throw out the first pitch here. Uh, one of the best parts about tonight is all the people that showed up, all the fans showing the support for uh, Fairfax baseball and support of the military. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's one of your favorite parts about coming to Fairfax? Well, this brings a lot of memories because I started in a park like this when I first came to the United States when I was playing in the minor league. So I just like the ambience, I like the fans, I like the overall, I like the whole complete atmosphere of what, you know, and since I loved baseball, and that was my huge career. This brings tremendous memories. Well, thank you very much, and we enjoy you having you here in Fairfax. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure to be here. Now we're interviewing. My name is Rita Maloney, and I'm a radio announcer for WCCO. How do you like your career in radio? Radio is really fun because you get to meet a lot of people, like I get to meet you right now, and I get to come to events like this and watch the Fairfax Cardinals play, and it's fun to talk on the radio because you talk to so many different types of people. It's a great, great job. What's one of your favorite memories in baseball? I would say my favorite memory in the game of baseball, I was brought up in a different city. I was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and when I was a kid in 1979, the Pittsburgh Pirates won the World Series, and that's probably my favorite memory in baseball. Is there anything you would like to share with us? Well, I would just like to say thanks so much uh, to the folks from Fairfax for inviting me down to this game tonight between Fairfax and Stark. And uh, so far, it's been a lot of fun, so I look forward to being able to come back to Fairfax another time. Enjoy the ball game and thanks for being on my show. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure. This is Angelica Munoz and this is... Tony Oliva. Well, Tony, thanks for coming to Minnesota. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. It's a pleasure for me to be here today. What's one of your favorite parts about tonight? Everything. I enjoy it to be here today. I spend some time in the ballpark, see all you wonderful people here. I make some lot of good friends. It's, it's a great. What was your favorite year to play baseball? I say when I was a little kid, I like right here to, uh, tonight. I, I see a lot of young kids playing baseball with the dream to get better, go to school. Maybe play high school and play college baseball. I maybe someday play professional baseball. I was lucky enough to play professional baseball. I love that. I love to be, uh, to have a chance to play in the World Series. That was something I never forget. What were one of the feelings when you went out to play? Well, sometimes you feel nervous. The first time, the first time. And in each game you feel a little bit nervous, but after that, you know, you get there, you know, realizing and see all the fans pulling for you and your team making pulling for you and, and everything. It's a piece of cake after that. But uh, it's a good feeling to be able to compete and be in the World Series. Is there anything else you would like to share with us tonight? I say, well, I have to say that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be here. I see all those nice kids here today. I hope that every single one have a chance to go to see Minnesota Twin Plays. And you, um, wonderful kid here to 
play this beautiful game baseball and go to school, a story, uh, you know, and and do your homework because play baseball is the same way to go to school and do your homework. You do your homework, you have a, get a, a better grade, and your parents uh, and and you teach everybody is very nice to you and give everything you want. And play baseball, the more you practice, the better you get. It's uh, the same way to go to high school and do your homework. Well, Tony, I'll never forget this interview, and thanks for coming tonight. Thank you, thank you. Uh, me either. You know, I have a great teacher here with me, and, and you're doing a wonderful job, and it's very nice to be here. Maybe we'll catch you again another time. Yes, sir, dear. Now we're interviewing Dave Lee from WCCO Radio. What's one of your favorite parts of being on the radio? Well, one thing it's not is getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's not my favorite part. But it's nice getting down about noon every day. And every day we're in the middle of all the news and the sports and the weather. And we know pretty much what's going on. So it's fun. You're always informed. So you got to get up at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning? I have to get up at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to have to leave Fairfax on time tonight, I think. Oh, the hell am I? <laughs> what's one of your favorite parts about baseball? The small town parks, like this one right here, which is gorgeous and maintained beautifully and the one over in Green Isle and the one in Gibbon and uh, all of the diamonds in little towns where baseball still played because people like to play it not because anybody's paying anybody any money so this is the the most charming part of all I think in baseball my favorite part about baseball is when you like hit a home run and get everyone home that's a pretty cool part I would say is there anything you would like to share with us tonight no, I admire what you're doing here. I, uh, it's nice to be in Fairfax. And I, Are you going to get into television broadcasting someday? Is that your hope? Maybe. Yeah, it's my hope, but probably not. Well, that's good because TV pays better than radio. So stay on this course. Thanks for being on the show and enjoy the game. Thanks, Angelica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now we're interviewing... Gary Hess. What's your favorite part about tonight? Oh, I would say my favorite part is seeing all the people here at, the, at this fine park. This definitely is a beautiful ballpark. Yes, I grew up here as a little kid and uh, played here my whole life. And, and to see it the where it is today, it's, uh, it's really nice. Did you ever think that you would be sitting here hanging out with Tony Oliva? No, I never thought that day would ever come. But uh, one thing that needs to happen is we need to get Tony Oliva into the Hall of Fame and then everything will be set. I'll be real happy. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? I would just like to say thank you to the TV show from the GFW uh, Elementary Middle School. And uh, it's a fine job that you people do, and we're real happy that you could join us tonight. It's our pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're interviewing... Keith Bubaltz. Boy, you got your mouth full. What is that? Sunflower seeds. What's your favorite par part about tonight? Just having all the fans come out and having some of the celebrities come out and having a good time and just playing ball. You got a real nice park here. Do you enjoy playing here? Yes, I enjoy it very much. Well, I grew up in this town, so I've been playing here for, well, this is my 10th year amateur ball, and I've been playing here ever since I've been a little kid, so I've been around town the whole, my whole life, so. What's your favorite memory, memory from coming down here? Probably holding the state tournament in 2000 and uh, getting the play in in 2002 in our home park, so that was a real good time. Keep up the good work. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. My name's Eve Black, and we're interviewing... John Deming. John, you used to play ball here, didn't you? I did for 15 years. What's one of your favorite memories from playing down here? Oh, I had a lot of memories. We had, I would say part of it was uh, growing up here, started out young, um, and watching this baseball field grow. Uh, we kind of had a little cow pasture down here, and, and uh, in the, probably about the mid-80s, we started turning around. and. Uh, remodeled it uh, to, to what it's at today. It's a beautiful park. One of the top ten in the state. I would, I have played in a lot of nice ones and this is definitely top ten. What teams have you all played for? From Summerack from, to grown up? Uh, all the way from Summerack. Uh, I, I played uh, Fairfax High School, GFW High School actually. Started playing high school in about uh, eighth grade. I got a couple games in but uh, Legion Ball and, and Fairfax here for a couple years and then uh, four years of Legion Ball over in Redwood Falls. Um, I played uh, college ball for four years out in Southwest State and I got the opportunity to play a little uh, minor league ball out there in Marshall in the North Central League when they started that up and uh, I got a year a summer in over there 
and uh, retired here a few years ago at Fairfax and uh, in, in uh, 01 and uh, it's been it since then. You played a lot of ball. Have you ever broken one of the wood back? Actually my first uh, my first at bat in uh, minor league ball my first the first pitch I touched I shattered it. I shattered it. I'm, I'm just like well as actually hit it off the end of my bat so why it wasn't like I got jammed but yeah I've I've shattered uh, I've shattered a, a few in my day. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Well it's a opportunity to take my time out here today to be with you guys in this interview. I, I appreciate you guys effort in this tonight. Thanks for all the memories. You bet. Thank you. Hi I'm Frank Fairchild reporting for KGFW TV. I'm here with Mike Max. Aren't you that sports guy on WCCO? I don't know, am I? Yes. Yeah, I am. My mom and I listen to you every morning. Well, thank you very much, except I'm not on in the morning, I'm on in the afternoon and night. Yeah. Who, I'm sorry, though. Who's the guy on the morning? Sid Hartman. Don't ever accuse me of being him. <laughs> sorry. No, that's okay. What's your one of your favorite memories from baseball? Coming out here to Fairfax and I was playing for Gator and we used to beat him really bad all the time, so I played at this park a lot of times. We won a lot of games over here, so that was my favorite. Um, who first inspired you to play baseball? My dad. My dad played baseball and coached baseball, and, and he started Little League in Gaylord. And so he was heavily involved, so he's the one that introduced us. We had three boys, and he introduced us all to it. So we just started playing in the backyard and playing with the neighbors and loved playing it, and they really never quit loving playing it. Were you, what did you like better, fielding or hitting? Hitting. I don't like fielding, but I have to do it because otherwise I can't play. Otherwise, I just hit. Are you a good hitter? I used to be. What happened? I still can be. It depends on who's pitching. What if Kurt Samson's pitching? Kurt's tough. He's got that little, you know, cutter. Do you think you could hit? We have some pitchers here on our baseball team. Think you could hit them? I'd light us, them up. us three. Yeah, I'd light them up. You know why? Why? Because Gator always lights up Fairfax. You know that? Oh no, no. Yeah. In our baseball game last time we had, we won. Not against Gator. Oh yeah. No, yeah. Stewart maybe, maybe yep. Gibbon or Winthrop. Gaylord. Maybe Franklin, but not Sounds like a good rivalry. Yeah, we right. like those good rivalries, don't we? Yeah, they're fun. Like the Twins and White Sox. Yeah, and then you got this beautiful ballpark here and this beautiful stadium. This is a great place to play. You guys got it lucky, boy. Have a ballpark this nice to play in. You're lucky. You can play town team someday. I'm going to. Are you? Yes. Yes. You guys keep playing baseball because it's a lot of fun, okay? Thanks for being on the show. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, big guy. Thanks for having me. My name's Tyler Liebel, and this is... Gary Kubley. Thanks for coming out tonight. What do you think? Well, my wife and I came down here. Uh, my wife is a big baseball fan, and so when she asked if I wanted to go, I said, you mean just for fun? You know, we go a lot of different places because I'm a member of the Minnesota Senate. But uh, tonight we just came down here to have a little fun and enjoy ourselves. What's it like being on the Senate? Well, some days it's frustrating because we can't reach an agreement, and other days it's uh, pretty rewarding. You get the most satisfaction, I think, out of uh, helping somebody out here in the countryside to get through the red tape of state government. Are there any other things that you'd like to share with us tonight? Well, I like to see uh, young people like you come to the Capitol and we uh, show you around. I can give you a tour that you don't get uh, with the State Historical Society, and I'll take you a few places that they wouldn't take you. Cool. <laughs> Be all right, huh? Thanks a lot, Senator Krubley. And what's your last name? Liebel. Liebel. Okay. Well, very good. My name's okay. Ashley Tim, and tonight we're interviewing. It's Kurt Sampson. Say, Kurt, what do you think about tonight's activities? Well, I'm kind of overwhelmed. We, uh, you know, a couple years ago it went pretty good and then last year maybe only 500 people and tonight a little bit more again so it's kind of fun it's kind of fun to get everybody out here uh, that once a year and give these kids a chance to play in front of a big crowd uh, uh, town team baseball is sometimes getting down to where it's just the parents coming out and watch and so this way the kids get to play in front of a good crowd get the pitch hopefully all the pitchers will get the pitch a little bit tonight we saw that you had some baseball cards what kind what kind of people did you have with that well um, the card I happen to have in my pocket the coaches that year um, well let's put it this way 
There's guys like uh, Bert Blylevin was my coach this last year, Mike Caldwell, Jim Mudcat Grant, uh, Harmon Killebrews down, Tony Oliva. These are all guys that come down to, uh, you know, like maybe 25 pros come down and play. And you're too young. Most uh, You know Kent Herbeck, though. Kent Herbeck come down. And uh, pretty soon some of the young ones that just played recently, they'll start coming down to these camps, too, because they all have a fun time because... Uh, when they come down there, it's a chance for them to get together when they never get together otherwise. So when they come down there, they have like 25, 30 pros that they played against and they played with. And you know, they... And they scatter far and wide, you know, after they're done playing. So they have a chance to get together too, not only, and then we get to play for them. We noticed that you're 72. How do you stay so healthy? Well, you have to stay pretty active for one thing, very, very active. I still work. I'm still working for basically three companies that I started two of them and kind of started the third one. But at any rate, uh, you got to stay active. And then you do have to watch your health, too. I go to Mayo Clinic uh, every year, and uh, I have to take some pills. I take one for high blood pressure to keep that down because they really don't like high blood pressure. And I take something to take cholesterol down a little bit. And uh, so... Just try to watch your health pretty close. Got to catch something before it happens. Say, when you were my age, what, what was one of your favorite baseball memories? Uh, definitely uh, uh, from who the uh, pros were. I remember very well guys like Hal Newhauser. Bob Feller was the first one that threw, said could throw 100 miles an hour. He was an Iowa farm kid, went straight from the high school straight to the pros. Uh, Joe DiMaggio was playing, Ted Williams were playing, all those guys, Johnny Pesky, uh, so there were a lot of guys. And then when I started playing, I, I remember more about 11, 12, 13 years old. We didn't know anything about a curveball, but we played ball every chance we had. Even if there's only two or three of us, we'd play. Sometimes we'd bat left-handed, sometimes right-handed, but we had, uh, like I say, three people was enough for a baseball game for us, and we played every chance we could. We won't hurt you up anywhere. Would you like any? Would, do you have anything else you'd like to share? Well, you guys, uh, you guys have a great uh, organization. Apparently, your school. That's really great. But uh, no, it's it's been fun. I hope that we we were thinking maybe not doing it this year. We almost did not do this this year, and then we decided to go ahead and do it. Now I'm glad. So I'm afraid we'll probably be doing it next year too. And thanks for uh, thanks for thinking of interviewing me. On behalf of Fairfax, thank you for coming out tonight. Oh, it's quite all right. And your name is what again? Tim. Wonderful. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Well, I always say 10 and 11 were my favorite ages. I really had a lot of fun. After that, you have to start working too much. Hi, what's your name? Kennedy Puzzle. What brings you out tonight? Watching the game. What do you think so far? It's good. What's one of your fa favorite parts about coming to the ballpark? Watching the game and seeing the team win. Boys, it's a nice night. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell us? Well, not really that much. You did a great job. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Who am I talking to? Cade Lighthizer. Say that again? Cade Lighthizer. Okay. My mom is Mary Tim. Oh, well, your uncle's Cat Tim. You know Cat? Better known as Fat Cat. No, don't tell him that. Now we're interviewing Dana Kicker. Dan, what do you think about tonight's game? Well, I like the crowd, and I like the park, and so far I like our chances. It's 5-5, and I think we're in the seventh. What do you think our chances are? I don't know, but I hope we're going to win. How, how do you think I did out there tonight? I think you did good. What What did you like most about my performance tonight? Uh, I like when you didn't give the ump a chance to call. You just called yourself. Well, sometimes you got to talk him into some of those strikes, and that umpire back there has been umping since I was in high school, so we go back a long ways. See, you never want to get on the wrong side of the umpire because you never know 25 years later when you may need some favors from him. Hey, tell us about your jersey. What is that? I got this at the Twins Pro Shop. You like it? Yeah. I had him sew my name on the back. The biggest challenge tonight was trying to fit into this jersey. As you can see, it's a little tight. How was it like pitching in Fenway Park? To be honest with you, I was more nervous pitching here tonight in Fairfax in front of these in front of this crowd than in Fenway. But no, Fenway is the greatest baseball park to ever play a game in, home or away. So I really cherish the time that I had here. Got a lot of fond memories. You know what? Babe Ruth stood on that mound and pitched the one time. Did you know that? 
No. You know who Babe Ruth is? Yeah. Okay. Dean, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? The only thing I want to share is I think you're doing an outstanding job and you got a future in journalism and broadcasting. That's a compliment. Thanks. Hi, this is Frank Fairchild reporting for KGFW, and I'm here with... Ralph Fairchild. Hey, Dad, what are you doing tonight? I just do what Mo tells me. And what does Mo tell you? Uh, Mo tells me who's batting and what I should announce, and... He's uh, kind of the guy that keeps track of the messages and all that kind of stuff for us tonight. Thanks, Dan. You bet. My name's Tyler Liebel, and I'm reporting for KGFW, and this is... Myron Seidel. Myron, what do you think of the game tonight? Well, it wasn't too bad a ball game, except we lost. No, we hate losing. But it was a great game. No, we, we appreciated Fairfax bringing us over tonight, and uh, we had a good time. How does your arm feel? Arm feels okay tonight, but it'll hurt tomorrow. What's one of your favorite parts of playing baseball? Uh, I guess it's just the, the crowd, the atmosphere, people coming out to watch a ball game. Uh, you know, just playing the game the way it's supposed to be played, uh, playing hard and having fun. What's your favorite memory from playing baseball when you were a kid? Getting my first hit. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us tonight? Well, I just hope you guys enjoyed the ball game and thank Fairfax for uh, bringing us over here and... Uh, Good luck to the Cardinals the rest of the season, and hopefully we'll see you back next year. And thanks to Kurt Sampson, and uh, happy birthday to him. Thank you. Hi, my, na my name is Ashley Tim. Now we're interviewing. Tom Wheeler. Tom, you pitched tonight. How does your arm feel? Well, for the first time in about 25 years, it's uh, a little bit stiff right now. <laughs> it looked like a really fun game. What What's it like playing on this field? Well, Ashley, this is a nice field. You know, I've done a lot of broadcasts here for my other job, which I do, but this is my first time playing on the field, and the uh, field's in great shape. Uh, it's well manicured, as you can see, and uh, since I was pitching today, pitching mound is very nice. It's, uh, it's, it, was, uh, it was kind of, it was a treat, let's put it that way, Ashley. You've been on KGFW a couple times before. What what have you liked about this show? Well, it's it's for the kids, and uh, I think you kids do a great job of uh, putting this together and uh, and getting it out there for uh, for the for the local uh, for the local uh, cable area and the whole works. And uh, it's good to see kids interested in, uh, in in communications, telecommunications, whatever kind of communications. And it's good; it gives you a chance to get out and meet people, talk to people, and find out uh, just what makes them tick. And also, it's uh, well, it's uh, well, well, it's fun to be on TV. We like having you on the show. You're welcome anytime. Well, thank you, Ashley. I'm looking forward to being on here again. This is Angelica Munoz, and, and now we're interviewing your brother. What's your name? Angel Munoz. <laughs> Angel, what did you think of the game? It was nice. We had a great game today. How long before you play ball? Uh, when I'm good enough. I bet you that's pretty soon. I'm Eve Blake. Reporting for KDFW, and this is Frank Fairchild taking place of Jim, the groundskeeper. Yeah, I'm his assistant. Can you tell us about what he does? Well, you see this beautiful field here. He rakes it up as he's doing right there. He waters around here. He covers up home and mound before it rains. He mows all this. He sweeps the grandstand. He works up there. And he put, he just does everything here. Yeah, he makes it look like a palace. You can tell by the way this place looks. What's, what's one of Jim's best memories from working here? Well, the one he talks about most is when this whole field was flooded except for the pitcher's mound. Only the pitcher's mound could be seen. Everything else underwater. He told you that story? Many times. What other stories did he tell you? He told me about the time they were in the state championship. He has a a lot of stories because he's been working here 24 years. See, that's a long time. That's a long time. Yes. This is Eve Blake standing off for KGFW. Enjoy the summer.
For more information on KGFW Television, please contact GFW Elementary School at 507-834-6501. Or email Wade Werner, W-W-E-R-N-E-R, -E at gfw.k12.mn.us. Also, check us out on the web, www.ourschooltoday.com, slash gfw, slash kgfw.